What can you tease about this season? Uh, you know, I think this season is everything you love about the boys, but even stickier. Um, characters are more intense. Uh, the drama is ratcheted up. Um, the stakes are higher than they've ever been. Um, you know, I think every season gets a little bit more intense and stickier. All right. Without spoilers, who do you think has the craziest scene this year? Oh, wow. What a good question. Um, there's a lot of characters. There's a lot of characters who have a lot of crazy scenes this year. Um, you know, Homelander has a share of crazy scenes. I, I guess I would say The Deep. I would say arguably every year The Deep wins the award for craziest scene. Um, you know, people always ask me, like, what, who's my favorite character to write for? And um, I don't have an answer because I love writing for all of them. I will say that writing for The Deep is the most fun um, because the stuff he goes through is just so bananas insane. Um, and this year is uh, no exception. <laughs> Awesome. Um, how do the character dynamics between the soups and the boys change this season? Um, you know, the dynamics between the soups and the boys change um, in the most major way because, you know, Butcher starts flirting with having superpowers. And, and for so many seasons, the show had been about the, um, you know, these underdogs, the, these powerless regular humans taking on these like extraordinary gods um and so the power disparity was huge so this season why it's like really crucially different is butcher levels the playing field a little bit um but by doing so he like compromises you know all of his morality and and all of the reason they're even doing what they're doing um, and so it becomes a question of like a means to an end. Is it worth truly becoming the person you hate? I mean, he's got laser eyes like Homelander. Is it, is it truly worth becoming Homelander or the, or the, or the thing you hate most in the world um, in order to stop it? And, and, you know, so I think, you know, that's what we explore this season. Awesome. Okay, so what makes working on this show so fun? Um, this is, uh, I've said many times, this is by a mile the best job I've ever had or will have. Um, like I need to mic drop and disappear after this show. I, I just, I don't see how I'll ever top it. Um, you know, we get to, yes, we get to have the craziest things and we get to spend so much of Sony and Amazon's money building like these insane pieces and, and stunts and, and madness, um, but uh, like kind of on a deeper level, um, it's such a gift to work on a show that I can really talk about a lot of the things that are really happening in the world and and satirize them and and sort of reflect them back to the audience. And and you know, it's not many shows that can do that. And and we're sort of ideally positioned because we're about like celebrity and politics and strong men. And so we can really talk about, you know, uh, the current zeitgeist in a way that few shows can. And, and, and that's a real gift. Um, and then on top of all that, like to be able to have a, a bench of actors this deep and this talented um, and can handle like all the, um, you know, character complexity we throw at them is and on top of that they're all really good people like genuinely um uh you know that's really rare and and it's something i don't take for granted so many things make this show so fun that's great <laughs> um okay so finally describe herogasm in one sentence wow um herogasm is a superhero orgy um where the most insane things happen. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay, great.